What is up gamers? Welcome back. Today we're playing Restored Monsters Pack. This mod, as you can already see, has already come up with some insane stuff. I guess these TNTs are, are like a one-hit thing. Is that is that the dealio? Hold on. They, they look like they're about to burst. Absolutely. This mod comes from Team Compliance, which I absolutely love these guys. They do incredible mods. Remember Rune Rooms? Yeah, that was them. And they like to restore old stuff from Anti-Birth. If you don't know what Anti-Birth is, it's basically the mod pack that came out that uh, unironically one up to Afterbirth Plus, uh, and that got turned into Repentance. There's a lot of stuff that got cut when Repentance came out from Anti-Birth that didn't make it, so this kind of aims to restore that stuff. Like those red TNTs, I uh, got blasted from the past just then. I actually completely forgot those existed, and I got Nostalgia Hit. What's in our first treasure room? We got Stitches, don't need that. Hot Bombs I'll take if need be. No need to commit just yet. Usually you can only get one reroll on the first floor, but you never know, you might find like a battery or something. No reason to take it right away. So apparently there's 30 35 plus new enemies, including Dumperton himself. That's right, he's here. Look at him go. Farting as ever, except now he's an enemy. He actually almost hit me into the spikes. That's crazy. There's also 7,000 plus new rooms. What? <laughs> including these ones. This is a new dingle fight. That's awesome. So we're just gonna have a run, see what we can come across, and, and enjoy our vibes. Activate anti-birth moment. Also, on the thumbnail of the mod, there's a golden Dumperton. I don't know if he's actually in the game. If he is, that's incredible if he's not uh you know what I, I you know i'm gonna feel a little sad to be honest with you i sure hope he's in there <laughs> all right dingle you're done get rid of these dips we get a midnight snack might as well take it and then i'll take the hot bombs you know no more rolls available i can lick her secret room before we go next floor and that should be it for the floor as far as i can tell did you know hot bombs also give you fire immunity for absolutely no reason? Does that make sense? Not really, but that is pretty epic. Give me the coinage, and yeah, I got enough bombs to get this probably free nickel. There it is. Super secret room seems obvious as well. It's most likely right here. And now I feel absolutely accomplished. In fact, hold on. You know, I don't got rolls or anything, but maybe I get like enough money to pay this beggar out. Cool, HP, worth it. Uh, let's move on. Basement two activated, still looking for new enemies, or I guess old enemies, new to me, in the nostalgic sense, you know what I'm trying to say. We got a person to our left, I have no saw hearts available to protect my red heart, so I'm hoping there's, there you go, a black heart or something in here. Not saying I'm gonna skill issue on basement two and get hit here, but you know, it can happen. It's not impossible. And then a wrath fight. Wrath actually instantly dies to a bomb, so we'll just do that, speed up the fight. I feel like he's always gonna pay back with a bomb anyway, I have an excess amount no big deal. Arcade on the second floor is pretty rare. It's because we came down here with plus five coinage. Was in here. Absolutely no crane game. Never mind. I'm leaving. We got our tro- oh! Hey, that's a humongous. Are you kidding me? If I ever find a sacrifice room, we will be playing. I'm a little scared. I did not know that they would also change the boss rooms. So I'm slightly terrified. What if I walk in here and it's like a room I'm not used to? Okay, it's just Dangle. I can handle this. Is this new? I feel like I've seen this before, but I can't tell. Pots with the black poops in between. You spend a bomb to maybe have an easier time fighting Dangle. I don't need it. We're okay. Should I go devils? You know, we have been going a ton of angels and I feel like I really need Dangle. Damage. Like immediate damage plus the reroll available. We've already removed one quality four from the angel pool. Yeah, so what's the chance that I, I get another one from the angel if I spawn one? Instead, let's put all our cards into devil rooms. I'm thinking this might just be the play. All right, later dangle. Nice. I love two picks. And in here we get goat head. Goated head as always. Yoink you. Take the soul heart. Roll into abyss. I'm not even going to get excited for you. I absolutely hate your face. I'm going to look for the secret rooms though. Most definitely here. Hey, you know what? My favorite thing about Anti-Birth were all of the monsters on the downpour and such, but now that I think about it, a lot of the monsters on downpour made it to Anti-Birth. I'm sure I'm not going to be able to see every single monster, of course, so anything I don't find when I, you know, check the game files to see what I didn't hit, and I think it looks cool, I'll throw up on screen for you guys. So I'm trying to decide for myself, should I go regular or should I go alternate floors? I'm thinking for the true experience of me playing Anti-Birth for the very first time i would go to regular floors and just get surprised by what i see you know but i will say i'm uh, kind of thinking maybe they brought back some anti-birth enemies that were on like the mines and stuff all right what up caves we got a curse room next to us don't want to spend our uh, full-on soul heart on that just yet we can wait just a tad unless something like that happens and i get diffed by maws and I, I lose my red heart and deal damage don't want that oh what are you okay i have to imagine that these farts do damage they're green which means poisonous 
this in context of Binding of Isaac. So these dumpies are a little bit scary. I don't even know if they would actually deal like knockback damage. I bet if they just fart on you, you take damage. So let's keep our distance there. Very cool. Does that fool's gold look different? I must be nuts. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna take advantage of it. But to me, I don't, it didn't look shinier. I, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever they did to that thing, it looked way more tantalizing than usual. Oh, hey, crane game, randomly. Not even in an arcade. It's a tier detonator. That is kind of weirdo. More farting Dumpertons. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about spending five cents for a potential 25% tier detonator play just so I can reroll it and see what the next item is. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't even a little bit tempted. Okay, final treasure room of this floor. That implies that there's multiple treasure rooms. That's not the case. But Lusty Blood is so huge. Does it even matter what I say at this point? Goat Head means I don't have to worry about deal damage. So I don't know why I was scared to go in that curse room. I guess it was gonna kind of hurt my soul to lose the soul heart no matter what. Surprisingly, Lusty Blood is our only DPS up so far. So only once I kill the first enemy are we gonna be doing some actual damage. We do have a sack room. I said I'd play it every single time because of Wafer. I might. You know, I'm, I'm realizing I don't really want to commit. Maybe we could just use Wafer as a way to not die. I like the idea of going devils full on. What the hell are you? Oh my god, I forgot you guys existed. There, there used to be cave bats in Anti-Birth. I forgot. I always liked this addition as well when I was playing Anti-Birth because it made sense to me. I'm like, why are we on the caves and there's no bats? How do you... How do you work? I guess I gotta get close. Excuse me. <laughs> I gotta use a bomb. This is not good. <laughs> you guys, um, well, I don't know what these guys are supposed to do, but I feel like maybe something went wrong on my end. That's okay though. If we wait one minute, the soft lock Isaac thing will come into play and this door will open uh, naturally. But hey, I mean, look at those bats. They sure do be batting. You know, I'm, I'm waiting here for a while for the minute timer to go off. Did you notice that? The flies on the ground, they kind of look like those Minecraft silverfish. I mean, when you get close to them, they're going to fly away like that. So they don't look like it much anymore. But I, I swear, I mean, look at that dude. He's he's like a silverfish to me. Can this door open, please? <laughs> okay, I definitely feel like I've been here for more than a minute. But luckily, I do a bomb. So whatever, I just, I'll, I'll move out. <laughs> no problemo. Anyway, back to the shop, Voodoo Head. We will most likely check out every single curse room we have available on this run. So I'm willing to take that. That leaves us with no money. So Crane Game's probably not in the cards for us. I'll blow it up for some pickups. I get a pill. Okay, all right. That's what I get for betraying gambling. Always believe in the gamble, ladies and gentlemen. If you do that, then you'll be live in life. If you don't, then, you know, you get punished. Stan's gonna be a bit of an annoying fight. I was gonna say because he doesn't spawn any enemies, but it's the champion version, so we're good. I can farm some damage off of this guy, and then we can focus on killing the boss. Um, we way easier. That is crazy. Didn't I have, like, base damage? Is Lusty Blood always that good? I got taken from basically base to 9.50? That is nuts to me. Okay, we got another dude here. Cramponi. Whoa! That was kind of hard to react to for me. I'm not used to him being able to charge like that. If he drops coal, we'll take it because it's such a solid item. But, you know, if it's head of Krampus, not only can we roll it, we got goat head so we can keep this devil open and multiple roll it. I know we had a battery in the shop. So what's it looking like, boss? Okay, lump of coal, I'll take it. Now with that, we can start rolling this death loss coin. I could just, I could get so much more than that. That's okay, thank you though. Secret room, money. I need like, oh, ho, ho, way more. There you go. Appreciate it. Now I can buy that battery. God damn it. Oh my goodness. I'm so stupid. I was like, why is this not explored? Oh, it fixed. <gasps> it fixed. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy I came down here, actually, because now we get to see what they're doing. Yeah, I, I was like, man, why did I not explore this room? I walked back in, it's just like, oh man, I'm cooked. Why did I do this to myself? But hey, I, it was actually worth it. Whoa, what? Really? Reverse Moon Soul the Keeper? I was just doing this mob challenge room so I can get, you know, more charges on my D6. I didn't say anything because I was like, there's no way I get anything good out of this. But wooden chests on top, I suppose. That kind of makes me want to start rolling the Ultra Secret instead uh, out of everything. Just because it could be more fun. Let's see. Let's use the Soul of Keeper. Get more billion money. I don't want to use the Reverse Wheel of Fortune. Let's just see. What, what's in here? Ooh, such a powerful item, dude. Yeah, okay. And interesting here. They have the new TNT variant in the red room. They've actually gone and added rooms for specifically Ultra Secrets. That's how in-depth this is. It's not just going to be rooms you come across. It could be something rare like that. I don't know about you guys, but seeing Wafer and Pentagram together, like uh, very close together at least, is such a vibe to me. Like when I see that, I'm like, man, what a good run. Something about those two items speak volumes to my brain. I just associate the two together. 
together. Bono, think for this floor is the curse room. It's not gonna be buffed by Voodoo Head because we picked that up on this floor. It'll start applying next floor. We got nothing. It's time to go next floor, and I think I'll pop the Ansas as well. Okay, Catacombs 2. Let's pop it and probably go straight to the curse room right away. Just because why not? We can actually plan our rolls a lot better here. Now that we know what the map looks like, I don't have to go to this big room and waste a double charge for no reason. What's in here? Red chest, red chest. Hey, soul hearts. Uh, surprisingly, more than anything in the world right now, I need hearts, so that's very good. Thank you. I don't know how. What the hell are you? Oh my god, what the, What are you? Who who, would, uh, who, who sent you? <laughs> I don't want to kill you. You're like actually adorable. You're straw man, but real. What? I'm just gonna go? Maybe I should have killed him to see what would happen. I think I'm supposed to- Oh, you know what? I bet it's kill him and then you get to take the money. But I, I don't know. I, I feel kind of bad if I were to kill him. I got another Ansas, which is hilarious. I was gonna say, surprisingly, I forgot that Voodoo Head gives you two curse rooms. I did not expect this to be here. Another triple red chest moment. Golden pill with more pills. Telepills, actually. What? There you go. <laughs> I- well, I'm sorry, I killed you a little too fast, my bad. Is a Yara in here? Another Ansas? Okay, there's too much happening now. I am unsure of what I should do. How about I- Soul of Jacob and Esau, twice over. Sometimes this can just give you pickups, because they'll spawn with items that can spawn pickups. And then I don't care about Ansas as much when we have something as powerful as Yara. Yeah, I'm sure what was supposed to happen there is that dude was supposed to go in and pick up all the runes, and then, you know, if you didn't kill him in time, then he would have left. We can test it out right here. He seems to be very common on uh, the catacombs. So he's picking up every single pickup. He also go for hearts. Yeah, so he goes for every pickup. And then we kill him, he runs around, and then he dies, he drops everything. What a cool idea. I've never seen that enemy before. So there are new enemies as well. Options is sick. I don't think we need to donate too much. I should go fight the boss right now since we have so many rooms available. And just see what we can roll right away. Dark one was a mega easy fight. HP might take that, honestly. And Mark is solid. Nothing incredible, but it's also nothing terrible. So why would I not just take it? Thank you. Roll this, maybe something a little better. I, I, you know, I like a speed up. A consolation speed up is... Is very rare I feel usually it's something like shot speed can I give shot speed or like range speed up from constellation I feel like I never guess so that's sick I'm kind of afraid to go back and do that whole uh golden pill thing you know what if I telepills I have air room I leave my Yara behind that's like four extra items on the dark room I will not be receiving but at the same time it's so much more fun to do that so I'm, just, I'm gonna do it whatever <laughs> Okay, I killed that guy a little too fast. I feel bad. But we have to note that every single time we see that new enemy, this is a new room. Like, this 4 cent room is new. I've never seen it before in my life. If that guy didn't die so fast, then, you know, maybe I should have uh, dealt with the skeletons first and he would have gotten away with the cash. But my run is so powerful, I, uh, I don't see that happening. Bob's rotten head, don't need it. Rolling time? Not yet, I need one more. Oh! Oh my god! It's been so long since I've seen those. That was an actual blast from the past. I remember those were like the first anti-birth enemies I've ever seen. I didn't even remember they existed until just now. I, I just got hit by like memory moment. That was awesome. Chest, chest, just some pickups. Secret room in here. I, this is an average secret room. Nothing too special. I don't see any pickups we really need. More world card. I don't know how I have so much mapping today. I am uh, not complaining though. So. Roll it, Gimpy, broken on D6. Oh look. I have, have I seen that room before? Was that a room restored from Anti-Birth? Do any of you still play Anti-Birth and or remember like what I'm talking about? I swear I've seen that room before. That red spider and that new Anti-Birth spider specifically in that layout. I am 100% gonna spam these pills by the way. Puberty moment. And speaking of puberty pill, I've been playing a lot of Tekken recently because I'm a part of that huge uh, you know streamer tournament with all these big names playing uh, League of Legends and VTubers and whatnot. So if you don't know my character in Tekken, and when I participate in the tournament, I play Jack and Jack is undeniably Jack. <laughs> Jack is like this huge robotic dude. And Tekken has pretty cool customizations. So uh, me and chat, we went ahead and made a Isaac customization. <laughs> it looks ugly as hell, but you know, I like it. <laughs> so, you know, when that tournament eventually happens, March 10, as well as March 8th, by the way, I'll be streaming. Make sure to keep an eye out for that huge Jack. Whenever I play him, I always think to myself, uh, Isaac, if he took 700 puberty pills. Magic skin in here? 
I don't want to mess with magic skin today. That's too crazy for me. I'm already kind of vibing with the run. I don't want to mess anything up too much. D6 is too powerful. Another curse room. Oh, this one has a ton of red chests. What's going on here? More, more, more. Safety scissors clutched it out. Gave me more bombs. I don't know what these pills are. Uh, I got to take all these pills quickly before power pill ends. I got a tears down. Are you kidding me? Man. Okay, these pills kind of suck today. What are you? Ew, 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 ew. That's the uh, first time I've ever been scared playing Binding of Isaac. Oh, I'm even more scared. How do I, how do I shoot you? Okay, I, I bet you I need to get close. Yeah, okay, okay. That's a cool design. I like that. Don't get me wrong. It's sick, but wow, that was creepy. <laughs> so the way you're supposed to handle that guy is run under them, bait the, uh, the go down into the attack and then shoot them. Super cool. That reminded me of uh, Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario. The Spider Lady. I think Mimi was her name where she did her like transformation or something. Oh my god. First person ever recorded to get hit by mom hands. Yeah, that looked like Mimi from Super Paper Mario. Hella creepy stuff. Really cool. Wait, was this a new- wait, I just kind of did that room like blindly, but was this new? I feel like I've never seen this room before. So many empty holes with those like red Mr. Maws in between. And I've never seen this. This has to be new. I, I refuse otherwise. You know, I doubt every single room has to have only new enemies. I'm sure there's new rooms that have classic enemies as well. Which is why having a mod like this feels so natural. It's just like you you add it. Oh my god, sinus infection so large. I always have a love for a type of mod that this is. Where you just add it and it feels natural. Like, yep. It almost feels like a, a little mini update to the game. Uh, twins can give me brother Bobby or sister Maggie. Because I have no familiars to duplicate. But I prefer the safety scissors. It's way more solid of an option. Not dealing with- Not having to deal with troll bombs anymore. And instead getting value out of it is mega great for us. Bogo bombs. Do I really need more? I'm just gonna donate. Whoa! We've gone through all levels of Dumperton. He's now officially dead. This one shoots bullets, so they're obviously the biggest threat. Uh, they seem to have the same bullet pattern as those blue maw guys on the flooded caves. You know the ones. So what, does the golden dumpy on the thumbnail show up on, on greed mode or something? <laughs> That'd actually be pretty cool. Did I not hit the button first and then the spikes took like an extra few frames to stop working? I call baloney. Super secret in here, a free eternal heart. I might as well look for the regular secret room. It should be easy enough. You know what? This might be a weirdo one, I think. Is it actually right here? No. What? Where is it? <laughs> I might be the dumbest Isaac player alive. I can't believe I didn't check this. It was right next to the super secret room, which usually in my mind illuminates it as a possibility. We got an item in here though. Roll it into you. Ooh, uh, I don't think I got a battery in the shop. Yeah, no. I don't even want to take it in general. It's a major DPS down when you don't have good tier rate, but my tier rate's not too bad. I could use it. No, 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 no. My general rule for skinny odd mushroom is like if I have three or less tier rate, then it's really good. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not going to commit to it because uh, it's a multiplier for damage down and that's just not good for my brain. It doesn't feel good knowing I'm doing that. Roid Rage is sick though. Uh, Guppy plus Empty Vessel. You know, we actually are not going to have any hearts after taking all this stuff. Well, I guess we will because uh, Eternal Heart will proc. But we could probably get rid of it because of Goat Head. So this is good. On to the mob floor, depths two. And surprisingly, both of, oh wow, two, three guppy. Both of my curse rooms are right here. What's going on? No confirmed guppy, but I think we're definitely gonna go to uh, the dark room and try and close that out. So we probably pull it off, I think. Not sure how this demon beggar is gonna go, to be honest, but it's nice to know what his item was. It's Book of Elial. We're not gonna land it and I don't feel bad for missing out on it. That's always the main thing I want with the demon beggar. It's like, as long as I know what you're selling, I know if I want to spend my entire health bar on you. The hardest, most tough thing about Demon Beggars is spending six hearts and then not even knowing if it was worth it. Like, maybe he was literally only selling a Sister Maggie, at which point I'd be like, well, I look like a complete bozo. At least with this, I have closure. Okay, that's two. This is my actual final treasure room, unless something crazy happens. Conjoin? I, uh, yeah, 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 why not? Rainbow Baby's fun. I, I don't see a problem here. Here's this room that I said was rare, but now that I've gotten it twice in a row, I'm starting to realize that I am actually just mentally damaged. Perma brain damage, unfortunately. It's over for me. I'm almost certain this thing already exists. <laughs> Shop! Uh, see, man. I'm telling you, you commit to conjoined and the babies just start falling. Got a pretty fly here. I, uh, you know, I can't really donate for more luck ups. So, I guess we buy the soul heart and just move. Whoa, this is new. I guess you're supposed to do this. 
Okay, that's that was pretty sick actually. <laughs> I like this uh, re-inclusion of the red TNTs. The one hits. Those are fun. I don't know why they didn't put that in Repentance. I really liked it in Anti-Birth. Oh, it's you again. Let's confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you do just straight up drop the runes that you pick up. Uh, this is an item? No way, right? Like, I, there's no way I'm just gonna randomly drop like a death certificate. Okay, that's pretty good too. Soul of Cain. Let me do some math and figure out where this uh, ultra secret most likely can be. I'm probably not right, but we might as well try. I've come to the executive decision that it's over here. All right. Seemed most likely everywhere else was kind of covered by curse rooms. And ever since that update, uh, ultras- Oh! It happened, Sacred Heart, in the Ultra Secret Room. Nothing else matters. Oh, dude, I'm feeling like this baby right now. <laughs> Using my mega brain to deduce where the Ultra Secret is. Uh, well, I was saying after the update, Ultra Secret rooms can never be next to Curse Rooms. So basically that entire bottom layer of the map was just eliminated as a possibility. I thought this was the most logical guess and I was rewarded for it. It's been a hot minute since I've had Sacred Heart, I feel. And it feels just as sacred and epic as ever. I appreciate it, game, so much. I did not notice that when this buddy in a box shoots, he actually mega brain waves. This buddy in a box is actually brain blasting. <laughs> well, at this point, we we take the Yara, we take the Lost Soul, and then we go. Uber powerful run. No reason to lose at this point. The Sacred Heart has solidified it for me. I think there's no way that we can actually get defeated here. Mom, you are done for, I'm afraid. Later. Not to mention guaranteed deals still to this point. Here's Guppy. I guarantee you, I was wrong. We get Bookworm. I'm gonna roll it anyway, so we might as well do this. And I'm probably gonna take whatever the quarter rolls into to activate my empty vessel. Succubus and a Tears Up. This uh, kind of sucks because it's gonna take some soul hearts off of me, but I, I think it's worth for the empty vessel proc. Cool, now we got Flight. What are you gonna give me? HP. I don't want it. I'll be fine without it, and I don't want to get rid of my flight, which I literally just spent all of my hearts to get. That would be very redundant. At this point, we have to make our way out of the womb as fast as possible because we are low HP. And if we stay here any longer, there's actually a capacity that we die, I'm not gonna lie. However, I also have just remembered that the wafer is a thing, so uh, maybe it's not as dire as I was previously thinking about two seconds ago. <laughs> Whenever I wafer, I just like to imagine my health bar and then double it, because that's really all it's doing. I have a feeling I'm gonna be okay, actually. There's a super secret room, which means the boss is actually not here. Goodbye. What? Hello? It's probably down this way, then. What are you? Oh my god, I remember you. You are always gross, to be honest with you. I, uh, you explode, don't you? Yeah, I do. It has been a while. That is hella weird. I have not seen that guy in forever. They're basically stonies that float around and you can't kill them. Just like regular stonies, you have to do the rest of the room. And, you know, they also explode on death. It's pretty nostalgic for me to see all these old anti-birth enemies that I was a big fan of, considering some of them just didn't make it into repentance. Binkerton, and I'm thinking maybe, hopefully, Guppy? Arcularist is fine, but my luck is low. I'd rather go for Guppy. Money equals power is solid. And I can actually take Mob of the Void here. I'm not gonna die because of Leviathan. Lost Soul survived and gave me conjoined? Okay, this might just be a god run, actually. I'm even willing to go in here, get more hearts for no reason. I'll take the Curse of the Tower, sure. With Wafer available, it may have looked like I had two hearts. I actually had four hearts, and now I have like seven, so I think no matter what I do, I'm in the clear. What about this one? I'm really farming for this Guppy, but it's not working out. If we can find the boss as soon as possible, we'll be able to spawn the deal and then just walk in and out because of Goat Head and try and force a guppy. I need to just use as little rooms as possible on the womb to get to where I need to go. In fact, I could walk through these rooms using bombs, but uh, that's too much effort. <laughs> Mother Void is also home because of Sacred Heart, as if this wasn't easy enough. Later, mow them all down. Where is this boss? It's taking me on a journey today. Hello and goodbye. Wow, what damage do I have? So what's cooking in here? Death Scythe. If I take this, I most likely will not be able to take guppy. I'm taking it. I need, I need, I need, I need, uh, soul hearts, please. I could dupe that eternal heart and get some more. This might be a rare case of I need to find a soul heart and Yera it. What about the vault? Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 listen. Tell me I'm wrong to Yera this. Tell me I'm incorrect. You cannot. This is the correct option. I actually have to. I've never seen anything more beautiful. And, uh, and then we'll see, you know, if we can roll this. Might happen. Might not. I don't know. I don't think I've ever yared a room like that, though. That was actually really cool. Is this the last room? Okay, yeah, most definitely not gonna happen. Go ahead and explode for me later. So I think the play instead is just take all of those items, take the Incubus, and cope about the fact that we're not getting Guppy. But who cares? I got Incubus Sacred Heart. Does Guppy even matter in that way? All right, give me you. 
Do I even want this? Not as much. Second to last floor, and I feel as if everything has been going in my favor. Lost Soul somehow has not died this entire time. I'm getting every item I could ever want, and it's just demolishment. No guppy to this day, though. Hello, how you doing? One, two, trace, and quattro. Explode. Also gonna place another one down. You can actually time that other bomb from the moment Satan starts like his sprite moving, then you can place the other bomb. It's not as effective as uh, the first bomb. First bomb's really good because it works with the leeches, it explodes all of them, but you know, still just min max. Here we go. Lost Soul has survived everything I it's been thrown at him. We do get Guppy, surprisingly. Thank you. This is Bookworm. We can take it and put it back down. Actually, I can't because I have. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay, all right. I almost got out for free. I was like, wow, I'm really not skill issuing today. Nope, you're bad. <laughs> skill issue. Whatever, you know, this Necronomicon will go crazy. What was that enemy? Maybe I should stop being so overpowered and figure out because I guess there's new darkroom enemies as well. And that was not anti-birth. As far as I know, that guy was unique as hell. I mean, maybe my guppy flies are just gonna take care of everything anyway. I don't even know what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I was coping about the fact that Necronomicon is totally gonna be like a big play for us. And it's very much needed on the run, right guys? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Look, I'm gonna use it right here. Let's go! Bag O Crafting. Wow, do you know how easy it would be to give myself an R key right now? <laughs> With every single pickup possible. You know what? I'm gonna do it just to prove it's possible. Look, we even got the perfect amount of charges for my D6. Hold on. Let's just kill the lamb real quick and I'll rig it just to rig it. Because what a nuts run did we have? Everything that could have gone right did go right. There's one, three, four. I don't know what he says when he does four, so I don't. I, I, I can't replicate that one. I don't even think he got to that one. How many licks does it get to uh, the bottom of a Tootsie Pop? I, I never found out, you know? I actually never found out. Did you guys ever test it out? I don't, <laughs> I never did. And here's the final one, and here's the roll, and I actually did not get Arky. Color me surprised, but I got sausage. <laughs> I'll take the TM Trainer just for the lols, the mystery sack, the room back, and that should be it. What an incredible mod. Felt so natural and so good to see classic anti-birth enemies all the way back in the game. Shoutouts to Team Compliance, and I love you guys. GG. Hey gamers, I am actually streaming right now. Today is tournament going right now, dude. You gotta come see my stream. It's gonna be humongous.